for me, it's easy to talk not only about what I love about teaching, but about what I love about teaching at Garrett, because um, both are the same, is that there, there's a mode of theological education that folks are down for at Garrett. And I mean students, in my, by and large students, by and large faculty, by and large admins, by and large trustees, like in my, every, everyone I meet, um, Consider by contrast, right, a mode of theological education. Somebody asks a question and some authority, some person higher up in the hierarchy provides the approved answer, which is taken in and disseminated to others. Um, that's one way of doing things. Um, another way of doing things uh, uh, that I prefer and, and, enjoy he and that we enjoy here is uh, somebody asks a question and a guide, a facilitator, uh, uh, somebody um, assist this person in questioning the question, examining the question. Uh, consider there was a, um, uh, a time cover uh, way back in the day. Something had been found, Noah's Ark or something. Uh, is the Bible true? Is the Bible true? It's asking for a yes or no answer. Uh, but then you question the question instead of just answering it. What do you mean the Bible? What do you think the Bible is? What you think the Bible is is probably not what the person next to you thinks that the Bible is. Um, why do you think the Bible is saying something with one voice that can be true or not true? Uh, does the Bible speak with one voice or is it a collection of things that speak with m multiple voices, perhaps even in so sometimes competing voices? Can competing voices all be true? Do we value the truth-telling power of competing voices? What do you mean true? Presumably it means historically, is the Bible historically true? Uh, why should that be the kind of truth that matters? Uh, uh, we can, are there other ways of things being true? Can a fictional story be true? Can something that's not a narrative be true? Can a poem be true? Can a sculpture be true? A painting? Uh, what, what, what in, 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 it, we are constantly considering things to have truth-telling power, powers in our life that are not historical truth claims. What do we, what do we, believe about what do we find in the world about the possibility of things telling truths to us uh, in many different ways. I guess my point with this is that by, by questioning the question, uh, we do learn about the thing that we're asking about in the first place, the Bible or whatever it is. We also learn about ourselves. And the fact that we are down for that at Garrett, right, uh, to learn not only about the things that we're investigating, our theology, Bible, history, what have you, but that we are uh, investigating the power of ourselves to be changed and to be more in the process.